What's going on guys, my name's Connor, and today I have a review for you guys on Louis Vuitton's all new Michael backpack. So I know on my channel I've reviewed two other Michael backpacks, one being the Infinity Leather and the other one being the older model which began releasing in 2008. But this one's going to be the newer model which I prefer the best and which most people do and it's also the most expensive. And I'll be breaking down all the details of it as well as going over why it's one of my favorite backpacks. So if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button as it really really helps out my channel and gets my videos shown to more people. And while you're at it, make sure to claim your two free stocks on Weeble by clicking the link below. All you got to do is sign up, you get two for free and you get another two once you make your first deposit. So it's basically free money and might as well do it. But without further ado, let's get right into this review. Alright guys, so just before I take you out of the dust bag, the reference number of this bag is N40301. So if you guys type that into Louis Vuitton's website or you just tell the representative at the store, you guys will be able to find this exact model. And this exact model retails at $2,780, which is pretty expensive. It's a little bit more than $3,000 once you're out of the store after taxes and maybe shipping if you buy it online. But it's not necessarily as expensive as some of the other backpacks, including the same backpack but with Infinity Leather. The Infinity Leather version of this backpack is $3,900. So close to $4,500 after taxes, so super expensive. But here's obviously the Louis Vuitton dust bag. Um, if I just pick it up and turn it around, you guys will see nothing too special. It's just gonna say Louis Vuitton on the front. And once I pop it open, then boom, you have the Michael backpack right here. So it's obviously a good looking bag. I'll give it a little spin before I show you guys it in depth. It's definitely a good looking bag, also in very good shape. You guys will be able to see a little heat stamp up there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then on the other side, you obviously have this zipper right here, you have this zipper right here, and you also have one right here. So this one is referred to as the NM Neuer, that's what they refer to the newest one as. Um, it's considered Damia Graphite just as the last one, but like I mentioned, the zipper is going to be different, it's not going to have that cover which is going to clog it up, and it was pretty annoying and I definitely mentioned it in the last video. But the measurements of this bag, it's going to be 18 inches tall, so about a foot and a half, so it's definitely sizing, you can pretty much fit whatever you want. Um, it's going to be 11 inches in width, and then it's going to be able to hold about seven and a half inches in thickness, I guess that's what you'd call it. But unzipping this part, I'll show you guys the first frontal pocket, and boom, in here, there's not going to be anything too special. Um, you have enough to put a phone, wallet, you can fit pretty much any size wallet in here. You can even fit like a small iPad in here. It's definitely a good size and you have room for whatever small little goodies you might want to put in here. But I'll close it right back up so I can show you guys the next pocket. And right when you open this one up, you guys are going to be able to see the little D ring right here, which is pretty nice. You can put whatever keychain or whatever else you want to hook onto here. And you also have four or six little pockets. The reason why I said four is because there's four decent sized pockets and there's two little pen holders. So you could say it's four or six, but you can fit whatever you want in here. Um, this is basically where you might put your toiletries or other small little things if you're going on a, on a trip. Um, so maybe your wallet, keys, whatever else you're gonna need to get access to right away in the smaller pocket. And then in the middle pocket, you can fit whatever toiletries and whatever else you might wanna fit in here, um, including whatever you can hook onto this D-ring right here. Um, it's definitely sizey. Again, this is about the size of maybe a MacBook. So this will fit like a mini iPad, this will fit like a MacBook, but in the biggest pocket, you're gonna have a big folder for a MacBook. So opening that big zipper, you guys can see see the little heat stamp right there Louis Vuitton Paris made in France now on the inside you have a specific pocket designated for your laptop in here that's just where I store the receipt so you guys know everything I have is completely authentic just so you guys know Louis Vuitton make sure not to call that phone number that's the representative but I don't know why they would write it down and not have an official card that's on them but you can obviously see your laptop would fit in here as well as an iPad or whatever else. And then you have the other part. I'll try to put that into the light. There's not going to be another pocket on the other side, but this is where you're going to store mainly like your clothes, uh, maybe your folders or whatever else. But I really like that they have this folder right here because not only does it perfectly fit a computer, but it's foam padded. So it's not gonna be bumping into whatever you keep in here. So for those of you guys who might think of putting a computer in here, there's not really a point. You might as well use that space for other stuff because it is completely protected in here. It's not gonna be moving around. It's completely foam padded and your computer is protected. So that's exactly why they added it in there and it was not an accident, it was by design. If you guys look on the site, you guys will also be able to see that they specifically made it for a computer. And then before I forget, I just wanna show you guys all the little hardware right here. So the hardware will say Louis Vuitton on pretty much all of it. You guys can see. And then also when you guys are looking to authenticate this bag, obviously you're gonna wanna look at the quality first. It's nice that I have the receiver here so you guys know that mine's real. But you guys are gonna wanna look at the quality. If the quality's not there, it's automatically fake. 
don't even try unless it's super beat and you really can't tell but you shouldn't be buying beat louis vuitton in my opinion and then you're going to want to look at the heat stamp which is in the biggest pocket as well as the date code which is going to be found in this pocket i believe it'll be right on the side near the zipper and you guys will be able to Put that into whatever site and they'll say if it's legitimate and then on the back side you have these little straps right here which are completely adjustable obviously from the bottom both sides will obviously have it and then i'll say louis vuitton paris right here there's another little heat stamp hopefully you guys can see that in the light and then the strap right here which you can obviously hold it by if you guys want to hold it like this maybe your bag's pretty heavy or whatever other reason if you're holding another backpack you have that little strap there which is pretty nice and then yeah it's a really good looking backpack um it's definitely one of my favorites and the references of this backpack when you guys are looking at the uh, made in which will be on the heat stamp it could be made in france spain italy or the united states so if it says like mexico china whatever else automatically fake don't even consider it they make it in different locations there's actually videos on youtube kind of showing the small little details that they change depending on the country that it is made in so let me try this backpack on so you guys can kind of see how it looks so here's obviously how it looks from the front. It's not going to have any special straps, just like the last backpack that I reviewed, uh, the outdoor backpack with the Eclipse on these straps. Nothing too special, just looks like a regular backpack from the front. Some of you guys might walk like this. But from the side, you can definitely see the Damia Graphite pattern. Um, it's really stand out and looks really nice, but at the same time, it's kind of subtle. It's like kind of where anyone that knows Louis Vuitton or anything about it will know like, oh, it's a Louis Vuitton pattern. But at the same time, like, it's not flashy to where if someone's not looking at you, they're going to notice. But here's what it looks like from the side, as you guys can see, and then the back. It's very nice. I like how it is kind of flat in the back. Um, and even if you have a lot of stuff inside of it, it's not going to look super full and like you're crammed up. But at the same time, I mentioned that it's going to be 18 inches tall. So it's definitely going to be um, a decent height and you guys can hold pretty much whatever you guys need. So it's definitely a good backpack. It's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this backpack. Um, Honestly, I would say this is my top three favorite backpacks, not just because it is very versatile where you can kind of wear it in any situation, but also because it's just a classic looking backpack. Ever since Louis Vuitton introduced the, the Damier Graphite pattern back in 2008, it has been an absolute hit. They have wallets, Amazons, other kind of slings, and obviously backpacks just like this one. And I don't think that Louis Vuitton would make this backpack again if it didn't take off the way it did. So it's an instant classic when you guys purchase the newer one. Um, and I think it's a decent investment, but what I would suggest that you guys do is buy it lightly used. I say this in every single video, and I kind of beg you guys to do this because like a car, I always say this in every single video, it's like driving a car off the lot. You're gonna lose that initial value, but once you buy from someone who maybe passed their 30 day return policy, I don't know if it's 30 or 14 anymore, but once you find someone who's selling it for one reason or another where it has no to little flaws, then you guys are saving yourself close to a thousand or two because market on this backpack is like fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. But like I said, this backpack retails at close to three thousand dollars after taxes. So save yourself that thousand dollars. Do what you got to do. Do some searching. Do some hunting. And I think that most likely it's worth saving you close to a thousand dollars to spend one or two hours finding this backpack. So again. Let me know what you guys think of this backpack. I'm genuinely curious. Do you guys have the same opinion as me as it being one of Louis Vuitton's best backpacks? Um, super functional, super classic looking, and fits pretty much everything you need. So let me know down in the comments and also let me know what you guys think of these kind of videos or whatever else you guys want to see on my channel. I'm obviously listening. Some of you guys asked that last backpack that I reviewed. Some of you, some of you guys actually DM me about this backpack. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. Um, but again, let me know what you guys want to see on my channel. I'm happy to bring it to you guys. And also make sure to hit the like and subscribe button as it really, really helps out my channel and gets my videos shown to more people. I'm really trying to make this channel take off so I can start buying even crazier stuff to show you guys. But thank you guys so much for the support that I've been getting so far and I will see you guys in the next video.